Hello, my name is Frank Buckholtz. I'm the North Langley Region, Regional Director for the Greater Langley Chamber of Commerce. And we are doing a series of interviews with candidates for municipal election in Langley City and Langley Township. And today we're with Terry James, who's running for councillor in the city of Langley. Welcome, Terry. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running for councillor this time. Well, I'm um, Terry James, obviously running for council in Langley City. Um, I think it's very important that for the next four years we uh, have a strong mayor and council so we continue to move in the right direction. There's the challenge of homelessness, which is now a global concern, obviously. There's crime, there's lack of affordable housing, transportation issues, and pressure on our fragile infrastructure, which is ongoing in an aging community like ours. Um, I think that my experience, the nine years that I spent on council, the 17 years that I've been the executive director for the Downtown Langley Business Association, and the numerous boards and committees that I've sat on over the last years, um, gives me a genuine understanding of the needs and challenges facing our community. So I guess the most important thing to me is to keep the community vibrant and that the quality of life exists for everyone for years to come. Thank you, Terry. Thank I'm you very much. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions now. All right. Based on some of the things that you said. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned housing. Yes. And housing has been a big issue uh, yes. not only in the city of Langley but I think across the region because housing costs have gone up so dramatically. Yes. Um, what can you do as a councillor to help encourage more affordable housing? So the challenge in the city of Langley is we don't have affordable housing. We have low income housing. We actually have a, a high ratio of low income housing, but as everyone knows, there's a big difference. I think the conversations need to start um, at the regional level, uh, provincial and federal levels, honestly, to have those conversations that start. And because we're a community in redevelopment rather than new development, that's going to be a challenge to find the land. But I look back at the challenges associated with the Langley Lodge when we were building that, and everyone said it had to be a skyscraper, and instead we ended up building a beautiful facility for the seniors. So I think that those conversations need to start, and this needs to be addressed. One of the things that I could consider is for every development that's built, there's a portion of it that has to be um, held back as affordable housing. So have owners and uh, affordable strata housing. So. Okay. Um, you. You have, as you mentioned, been long involved with the Downtown Langley Business Association, mm -hmm. so you're very aware of the issues facing businesses. Yes. And as a chamber, uh, one of our concerns is always the level of taxation and the balance between business and residential. Yes. I know in the city that balance is better than it is in some other communities, but is there a way that it can be better improved? That's a really good question, and yeah. one that I've been immersed in uh, yeah. for a long time. Um, I can refer back to conversations when I was on council and first became aware that there was this, this ratio involved. And there was, um, I was pretty emphatic about fighting that the business tax ratio would be fair. I know there's a general desire um, in the Metro Vancouver region that everybody be on the same sort of playing field. That's not going to happen. We're never going to have the same business tax ratio as Vancouver, for example. But I do um, advocate very strongly to keep those ratios fair. Um, Honestly, it's, it's something that comes up in every budget, and every budget's a different scenario, but I'm definitely going to be an advocate to make sure that the business to residential tax ratio is, is retains or be, stays at a fair level. Okay. And another issue that you mentioned, and it certainly has been on the uh, minds of many residents in this area, is transportation and transit, mm -hmm. and in particular because of the debate in Surrey about SkyTrain versus LRT along right. the Fraser Highway corridor. Right that line coming to Langley City. Um, what is your preference, SkyTrain or LRT? I would, my preference is um, SkyTrain, simply because um, that's the what I'm most knowledgeable about. I've done some research in both arenas. I honestly think that, um, my preference being SkyTrain, I would be happy to see either or come to the city. I think it is absolutely mandatory. And I know the city is well in plans for, for accepting that, for having some form of rapid transit coming to their community. I'd have to see the plans to make my final decision, but I've been involved in both discussions. And what kind of difference would rapid transit make to Langley City? Well, we have a choice here in Langley City. This is what my, my perfect world would be, um, that we become a destination versus a place that people go through or end up in. And that's the challenge that we're going to face because we are going to be the end of the line, quote unquote. Rapid transit would allow uh, people to move out into this area comfortably and know that they could get to their places of employment in other communities. We are 
sorely lacking. I know we have more buses now than we did before, but we're sorely lacking. I have two children, as a matter of fact, that rely on public transit, and it's really difficult for them to get around. So I would think that rapid transit would transform the city of Langley if it's done appropriately. If we have the right parking facility, the right attractions at the end of the road, and uh, the right place to put it. Well, very good. Well, thank you very much, Terry. Thank you for having me. Yeah.